Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I hope it's a happy Sunday for you. We've uh, it is. been up it's a little while rushing about, cheerful, as we do. <laughs> cheerful here in the build room. The, the storm before the calm, that's what I like to think about it. Yes. You know, our last oh. half hour, Flynn's last hour before the show is just rush, rush, rush. Yeah, pretty much. I should probably start sooner, but <laughs> darn it. I but just, we have... Like, you know, we can't we, start any sooner. And we have fun guests today. Today, you know, being Sunday, we're going to chat with other people live on screen. Yes. So I'm very excited about that. So hopefully um, we have our people should be coming up soon. I hear, um, oh, Moto is saying he's having trouble with his interwebs. So oh, got we'll it. see. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully he'll that join us when out. he can. Exactly. So anyway, just wanted to say, let's see who is here today. Um, Did I say welcome? I mean, welcome. <laughs> Um, so, welcome. Apples is here. Hey, welcome. Uh, Blackjack is here. Blair, Blair is Archer. here, who will be on later. Brickanista is here. Cornado. Drew Dershel. Hi, Drew. Holly is here. Um, Hooded One. Uh, who's your bricks? Yep. Welcome. Welcome. Lisa Head is here. Hi, Lisa. Uh, Minifig Chick and Moto are here. Steve Parmley. Hi, Steve. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Hi David. Steve and Marilyn. Uh, Hi, David. Wild Orson is here. Hi, Orson. Uh, Wilfred. Wilfred Bonjour. Bonjour. And, and Zach, Zach Martinez. Martinez. Welcome, everyone. So glad to have you with us today. It's going to be, should be a fun a fun time. Yeah, sort I think. of Sunday brunch, right? Yeah. Look at that. We had our coffee on time. We have <laughs> a little bit of bricks to play with while we chat with people we're going to put together. Oh, I thought we were figures. going to keep working on the haunted house, but Well, okay. we probably will, but the haunted house bag five is big, and I want to start off easy. All right. All right. Well, we'll see. Well, we can, we can see what happens. Oh, that's right. Okay, so shall we move on to our Disney, Disney pins? pins? Sure. All right, Disney pin of the day. Let's go. What do we got going on? Well, I'm going to reach back uh, a couple months, I think. I already wore um, a, a Tramp, so... I beg your pardon. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is Tramp from Lady and the Tramp. He was in focus for a second. Sorry. It's never. For that. I, mean, I know. He I was think in we focus just might for as well second. give up on the focus, I feel. So I think there's a whole <laughs> series of dog bones that are famous Disney dogs. There are. There are. Oh, good. Um, uh, Moto says his um, his interwebs is back. So oh, this good. is a good thing. This he is a good thing, everyone. Fix the satellite. All right. So yeah, himself. any of our any of our guests who are out there in the chat right now, go ahead and sign on to the meeting. You should have all the info. And if you don't, for oh. some reason, text me on my telephone machine, and I will make sure that you get that. Look at that, Flynn. What's that? My Bricks LA t-shirt. Whoa, you're like all Bricks LA Superman style. Yeah, well, and I'm sure it's going to show through my shirt all day, too. <laughs> it was so fun. We he met can... wonderful people. Um, Minifig Fig Chick and her partner um, introduced us to Bricks LA. Yes. Right? And it, that we had fun twice. We had and a great time. It's a really fun convention. Too. And we did. We did. It was very exciting. Um, hey, Zonker's here. Hey, Zonker. Hey, Zonker. Welcome. Um, yeah, Chris Barron is here. Hey, how's it going? And I've gotten some, uh, I've gotten some messages from our Patreon subscribers that their envelopes have arrived. Oh, I'm so, so glad. So Good. Happy. We had a lot of fun putting those together. I hope that so. was fun to receive in the mail. Um, yeah, I mean, I know our, our um, when we get our mail, it always brightens our day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have, we actually have mail, but I think we'll save that for tomorrow. Okay. Um, sure. So yeah. That wow, what a tease! <laughs> I know. Features to come. <laughs> well, not only are we going to save it for tomorrow, but I just got a notification that there's another package coming to our PO box. That's, That's so crazy. Excited. Yeah, we'll so go we're gonna, there. We're going to start being able to. Um, we're going to start being able to make sort of like um, viewer mail, like a more. That would be cool. Thing. A feature That's we might even need fun. a graphic for that, other than just the tumbling squishy brick. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can do better. I, I agree. I agree. All right. So let's see. I am going oh, to... Let me see. Oh, look who is here, I think. Um, let's see if we can get into... Oh, my pin. I forgot my pin. Oh, my goodness. Well, we can. you can share your pin Hi, with our guest. Moto. Well, yeah, I will... Um, I, well, while Moto's signing on, I will... Yeah. I will do this real quick. Oh, and it focused. Look, look at, at that. that. 
Hey, Peter Pan. So I got this Peter Pan pin going on. Oh, awesome. Cool. Kind okay. of looks like a chess piece, right? But he's yeah. got spades on it, like a card. Yeah, I, I wonder don't know. what that. I don't. <laughs> I don't get the connection there, but they've made a lot of pins. <laughs> it's true. Moto, what is going on? Are we seeing Moto's movie? I don't know, but I'm. I need to make this happen. Um, uh, price winning. Does it have sound? Oh wait. Oh, here we go. Oh hey. Sorry. Yeah. See, when we switch over to Zoom, we have yeah. to put our ear our earphones in. Hi hey, everybody. I've got my coffee cup here. I've got my pin. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Moto. Good wow, morning. Moto. Look at your. I, I love. I love the progress on your on your room. It's looking really on your uh, your figure there in the back. It's, it's the egg is looking really great. Yeah, the the ship. Well, the egg, yeah, the egg's fantastic. My wolf is really coming along. I've got the teeth in. Why well, really. your, your studio has come along a lot too. Yeah, it's very clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I like the sort of modern stud pattern on the back wall. That's very nice. I know it's very, it's very sort of. Art. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The textiles in the floor, if you notice, are waffle plates from the '60s. That's you know, why they're square. It's funny. From your photos, you looked taller. Well, you I mean, know, I always sit down when I'm, with, I'm with you guys. Oh, that's right. Okay, so is there? Yeah, a me, uh... There's the washing machine. Oh, there's the washing machine. Very good. <laughs> uh oh. Moda got a little stuck. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. I am. Chess series hidden Mickey pins. Okay. According to Mini Fig Chick. Thank okay. You. Thank you for your research on that. Oh my <laughs> Wild goodness. Wild Arson, I agree. Okay, I uh -oh. hope I hope that Michael can make it back up. Come on back, Moda. Oh, that look. was awesome. He's got the wolf head back there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's all there. That was brilliant. I've been waiting for something like that for a really long time. <laughs> See, oh my we, goodness. Um we're gonna have some kooky guest spots. We are coming up. And we didn't even plan that. That was all no. him. Yep. Just saying. He'll that be was back. All him. He'll he's, be back. He's probably fixing the satellite right now. That was. <coughs> Excuse me. Michael that Kanemoto, right? That was so good. Now we have to try that. Now I want yeah. to try that. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can do an all mini fig, like an all sig fig build and chat. I, I, <laughs> yep, for that. I didn't think it would be very all voiceover. The building might go a little slower, but the chat could be really <laughs> Steve Parmley, don't you remember me trading that pin to you? Oh, Steve Parmley traded yes, this pin. Yes, you're right. You're right. I it's forgot. so cool. Very good. Very good. Oh, I see. So it's a he's standing behind a pawn. Ah, you, I'm sorry. I'm copying. I'm copying the link to the meeting so I can send oh, it yeah. to somebody. Um, we're in inviting other guests. Well, I'm going to open up this kit right here and just have some cheerful Unikitty candy coated <laughs> fun. Yes, yeah, with a chocolate card. bar. An update today. It was a whole thing. So I hope uh, that everybody is busily at work on their, uh, their challenge piece for this oh, week. Oh, yeah. So our challenge is to build, a, is for you to build a mech or robot. It can be either one if you want to be a mech. And I think generally we decided that um, the mech is um, like a suit that is controlled by yeah. our, a mother minifigure. Yeah, where and a, a robot is just is a robot. Yeah, and a robot <laughs> seems to have more forms. I'm sure all of this is very squishy, but the pictures I saw of Mecha on the web were all bipedal as well. I'm gonna make something between a mech and a and a robot, and I did a uh, robot. Well, I did either a foolhardy or a brave thing yesterday. What I, was that? I used this CAD design software to draw all my light plots and technical drawings, mm -hmm. and it occurred to me that it works as a regular drawing program too. So I designed my character digitally first, and we're gonna see if I can make it happen in bricks. Oh my goodness! We'll see. All right, I'm almost there. You almost, almost there, Glenn? back with you, yes. Well, let's see what's going on here. Very colorful set with, oh, look, all happy Unikitty. Happy, happy. Oh, why won't she focus? Because it wants to focus on my face, right? We have to put a card behind. But you can see there she is. 
Wow, could she have any more highlights in her eyes? Oh, so Blair says it does not have to be bipedal, but it does have to have a pilot. Okay, so there you go. Right. Yeah, I saw lots of bipedal ones, but I'm sure um, there are many ways. I saw some with wheels. I thought about Sigourney Weaver's mech from, um, was it Alien 2? Yes. I think Aliens. That, Aliens. That, that one was awesome where she fights <laughs> the, the xenomorph. The xenomorph mother, right? Yes. Yes. Well, so I hope you're having fun with yours. Again, this is something I've never done before. This will be brand new. Yeah, sorry, everybody. I just, it's, you know, technical things are always fun. And will making you... sure that everybody's got the links and the things and the stuff. And Will you go, go into down cam then while I separate well, actually, these things Well, actually, I out? will not. All right. Because. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> sorry. That's it. We're in a fight. Because Mark's here. <laughs> Hooray. Hi, Mark. Hey! <laughs> oh, and he's right side up. Hey, Mark. How's it going? How's it going? Good, good. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. So what's uh, what's happening today? You got your your build room. You know, I know you say your build room is always a mess, but it always looks so nice. But it's probably, I'm going to guess that From it's like, like ours. Down. That if you tilted the camera, like, either direction, it would just be, you know, <laughs> like chaos. <laughs> and that's like something no one will ever see <laughs> well we saw it i i see there's like beauty and chaos and like right in front of me there's just like bricks like and so when i do live feeds or something i just kind of like pick up stuff and like tinker kind of build you know what i mean yeah 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 it's just kind of like just i gotta do something with my hands yeah, I like having bricks in my hand, you know, especially all of these virtual meetings we've had with people. I'm always fiddling with something. Yeah, you've had a lot of virtual meetings. We, we have. have. It's crazy. We're on our, we, crazy. we figured out we're on our like 56th or 57th episode now, which is crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And most of them were like an hour and a half too. So yeah, that's Crazy. a lot of a lot of hours, a lot of hours. So I don't want to put you on the spot on this, but I'm but... sure that you can come up with something. So we are doing our, our challenge this week. Our weekly challenge is for our viewers to build a mech or a robot to um, to to show on at our slideshow on Friday now. I don't know if you're working on Friday or not or if you can be here, but Jermaine is coming on to talk about the mech slideshow with us. And if you were available too, that would be so awesome. You would add a lot of but expertise. We can talk about that later. But what I was hoping from you for right now was that maybe you could give some tips to our viewers about what makes a good mech. Oh, and way to put me on the spot. Uh, <laughs> well, I figured or, if you don't have an answer, that's fine. Or you may formulate one, and we can talk about it later. But or just, if you want to talk a little about how you like, if you go to start making a mech, like where yeah, do you even start? What's your process? Oh, uh, so I usually build mechs like uh, whatever inspires me. Uh, whatever, like, I think is really cool, and I, I look at it, and I'm like, I want to make that into a mech. Um, uh, I have, like, uh, the, the ice cream truck that just came out. I have a mech for that, just, like, sitting right here. I, while I was waiting, I built this, like, <laughs> Unikitty <laughs> mech. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Girl, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I usually just start with, like, the the torso, and then I, I get inspiration, and then I go, okay, well, what are we doing here? And then I start with the torso, and then I do the legs, which, if I can make it stand up with the torso and the legs, I'm happy. And then I add on to that kind of thing so and because i always love when they they can actually stand by themselves and not fall over yeah yeah so do but, you make them articulated 
And if so, what do you like? Do you use hinges or how do you make them stand up? I do like the mixel joints for whatever this is shoulders. The little, and, little bitty ones. Yeah. The mixel joints yeah. shoulders. Cause that has full, like if you think of like a, a human, like they have, you know, you can do it's whatever. a ball joint, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. Like tiny ball joints for shoulders. And then I do, um, hinge joints for the arms. Yeah, this is boring, man. You really? guys have... I don't know. No, I, it's not. I'm not this bored. Is, I'm not bored. People want to know this stuff. Trust me. So, what uh, would you what would you use uh, for an elbow then? Uh, just the hinge joints. Yeah. So I'll do hinge joints, and then ball joints, and then well, this one I use like the weird. They used to have Nexo knights. Lego did. Right. Yeah, yeah, for a hot like, minute. We got great armor from that. Oh, yeah. They had a lot of good colors and a lot of good pieces. Uh, I usually like the waist. You know, if it's a smaller one, I'll just do like a ball joint. And then knees are the same as the elbows. Okay, and like a hinge joint. Think the shoulders. Like, think of like how a body works. So you can pose it in different ways and... Yeah. That, that makes so much sense. If you use a ball joint on an elbow, then the arm could move unnaturally. But if you just make it a hinge, no matter where you put it, it, it kind of works. My elbow just does this. Yeah. <laughs> right. It doesn't do like, whoa. You know? <laughs> well, that, that's great. I think that, that was fantastic and exactly what I'm sure people were hoping to hear. Like, the, just the stuff like that is like, you know, might make sense to to people who do it a lot, but for people who don't, that's fantastic information. So thank you for that. Well, a lot oh. of times if I see a photo on the web, I'm like, whoa, that's a really cool object, but I don't necessarily know immediately what all the parts of that object are. So that's a huge help. So you guys are doing like a mech challenge? Yeah, so yeah. people are, yeah, we challenged our viewers to, to make a mech or a robot, either one, whichever one they wanted to do, and then they take a picture and they send it to us, and then on Fridays, um, we do this every week, and then on Fridays we do a whole slideshow of everybody's uh, work, and we show it to everybody and we sit and talk about about the different pictures, so it's really fun. Yeah, instead of a oh. contest, it's more like show and tell, like we all get to make art together. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> it's really cool. Really cool stuff, yeah. Oh, cool. Welcome back, Michael. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Holly, this is not a, it's not a, a contest. It's just a challenge. And Holly, where are you? We're all waiting. Ah, oh, there she is. See? Look at that. It took a minute. There we go. Uh, here comes. And Moto is back. Hello, Moto. Welcome back. Oh, he, he oh. ran away. Oh, look at Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi, Hi. Holly. Hi, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hi. Oh boy, hi. Moto, I love you so much. You so are so good to see you. <laughs> you, are... you guys were you guys were talking about mechs. I'm gonna go get that monkey warrior king mech that I that I put together. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> it's so funny. It looks like stop motion, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> It's an amazing, it's the most amazing mech I've ever put together. It's got gold, all these, <laughs> all these, yeah, the gold is amazing. If you look at that, like Aaron was saying, and if you look at the printed foil on there, well, the details. The, the face is really detailed too. Yeah, there's a nose sticker that's really hard to get on there, but if you get it on right, it really brings it to life. How long it's, did it take you I mean, to put that together? Oh man, it, I I put together. This, I'm sorry, I'm dying here. I put it together. Uh, the city book one in one in one evening, and then the next day it took, I'd say, a good four or five hours. Yeah. Wow, it looks like it's at least like I don't know one piece. Yeah, it looks like it's. Oh. I, well, I really, if you look, if you look at the legs, the joint construction here is absolutely <laughs> incredible. <laughs> It's okay, I gotta put, I gotta, I gotta put this down. I'm worried I'm gonna break it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. All right, that is. See, hard hitting. Oh my goodness. Hard hitting tips and tricks and and. Has some, <laughs> someone noticed that uh, 
Uh, I had to put it back up there on the shelf. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, nicely yeah, done. Nice. Yeah. Wow, you're like a Lego ninja. Like that. Yeah. I didn't even see you back there. <laughs> it's an illusion. <laughs> Where did we just see him? We just Who? saw Will what? Arnett on a show. Oh yeah, last we've night. been we've been watching Thirty Rock, and he did a whole like oh, season yeah, yeah. on on there. He was so young. Yeah. So he's like really. Little he's like baby. all like baby skin, like pretty little guy. It was very funny. <laughs> do you still, do you still have yeah. a deep voice? He had the Every same voice. Person. Oh yeah, he had the same voice. We're like that's Will Arnett. <laughs> I I briefly hung out with him for uh, ten to fifteen minutes a day for a while. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people have asked us, you know, like, well, do you know Will Arnett? Like, what's he like? And we're like, well, he would recognize us on the street. <laughs> yeah, like, that's like he's great. I'm sure he would know my name if I saw him. Um, yeah. So. If, if he was surrounded by a bunch of other people and then we walked up, he might know who we were. Yeah, uh, yeah, all, yeah. All these other people. Yeah. He might not yeah, say I hello, he be, I but he, he knows us. <laughs> so how are you, Holly? Welcome. How's it going? Hi. Hi, good. Yeah, I just finished buying my turnips and building, oh. building an awesome set and just enjoying the company. So you're working on the uh, the Batmobile. Working on were... the Batmobile. I'm probably about halfway halfway done with it. Whoa! Oh, look at that. That thing is gigantic. That's crazy. Really I'm I'm really into it. I've got the like the steering wheel column in there, and uh, yeah, like I said, just starting to work on these really cool. I don't know if you can see all those angles and such. Crazy. Some of the shaping here is is really here, nice. Here, let me get you. Uh, we're gonna make you. Big. We get you to the front. To the front. There we go. Yeah, Holly. give her the main screen. Look at that thing. Holly, how do they do the steering? Is does it have a rack gear in it? <laughs> well, I've got a lot. I bought a bunch of bricks over there now, but it's you know pretty standard uh, axles driving all the way through there, and then you can yep. kind of see the mechanism. Down yeah, I see. Oh, got yeah, it. I see right up there. Ah. Oh, right. It's one of those like. Um, long kind of flexible things with the two little holes oh, that fit onto yeah. a ball joint on the end of them yeah and yeah. it has those yeah. real kinds of wheel hubs that i haven't yet used the ones that allow the wheel to turn the way a car really would huh oh, mark's yeah. probably <laughs> mark and moto and holly are probably like yeah those kind of wheel hubs smart guy about cars <laughs> <laughs> this is the part that i'm loving though this this detailing and shaping along here these these wacky angles and the stuff that's just kind of wow you know, polishing off you know no gaps or anything here like all these yeah this is fitting in there really nicely now very cool i think it's i think it's slick i love it that is a serious model nice and it's very swooshable pretty serious <laughs> <laughs> swooshable is good all right. Okay, I gotta move these over. So, what are you working on uh, these days, Mark? Or are you working on? Or are you just noodling? Uh, well, my actual work has been really busy, so I'm just doing a lot of actual work where I get paid for stuff. Uh, and my hobby, Lego, is uh, I'm still building. Like I'm just working on this giant mega dystopian city um appropriate yeah, yeah. <laughs> Giant gray buildings that's all i'm good at building so oh nonsense well, i don't know about that that is ridiculous don't even try that business with us that's we know that's not true hey check out this piece if i can get it to if i can get it to focus this is the ice cream cone character's hand and it's a Technic pin with a minifigure arm with a mini on it. Minifigure arm on it, in like in that. Oop, sorry, like, there. Nougat color or whatever. Crazy piece, right? That's actually I haven't seen that before. I'm sure it's been used somewhere before, but yeah. So like pin on one end, minifigure arm and hand on the other end. We gotta make finally our crazy hallway with the arms coming out holding candlesticks. 
Very oh. good. <laughs> wow. What you got there, Moto? Well, I got inspired, so I did a... His Batmobile. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm building the Batmobile along with Holly. It's really coming <laughs> along fast. Wow, the angles are really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. For some for some reason, I'm hoping this uh, this gray stuff here gets uh, cleaned up to black pretty quickly. But well, I hear that sometimes he does wear very dark gray, so maybe the very same in gray. his cars. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I got the wrong set. I can't tell. <laughs> well, it's I think I think it's coming together fantastically. Yeah, I agree. Well done, well done, and so, and you're really you're so quick. I'm really impressed by how fast you build. I was gonna say he's moving a lot faster than I am. Yeah. Well, when you're, you got to speed it up when you're up, when you're you know you want to get that set done. I'm really excited for it though. It's looking really good. <laughs> oh I'm gonna my go, god! I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go open the next bag. All right. Thanks. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep watching that we, because I'm not gonna be able to breathe. We soon. need to have mini fig guests yes i love it it's, just, it's a new thing i've decided it's a new thing well we all do different stuff to make our studio look great and his is so polished now it uh, just looks super modern I, um, you know, some, something occurred to me this morning actually like how genius is it to set up your your lego space in the in like the laundry area that's like the one place the kids would never find me <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so I'm um, sorry. I guess we've um, we actually kind of rolled over sticker time. So, oh, yeah. um, real quick, oh. let's just do our sticker sticker time. Here we go. All right, it's sticker time. Sticker set, show and tell. So, what have we got oh. going today? Oh, Moto, Moto has a you want to go first, and I'll get you here on. Uh, Spotlight. There you go. What do you want to tell us about your sticker? Yeah, I have a sticker, a little bit of sticker trivia. So this sticker is from set 7737. I didn't even have to look it up because <laughs> if you have a license plate, the license plate number is always the set number. The more you know. I didn't know that. Oh, I did not know that. Well, there you go. Oh, and actually, while we are, uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and, because um, I know he usually has really good stickers. Blair is here. Oh, hey, Blair! Blair. Yay. Blair. Hey. There he is. Hey, Blair. Welcome. So, um, we are... Let's see, who have we got now? Who, who's got a sticker to share? Should we do ours next? Or, Mark, are you ready? Uh, well, I have a lot of stickers. I don't know. This is my first time. Well, it could be so just one you like. It doesn't... You don't have to be. It's pretty low pressure sticker yeah. time. It, we're we're casual around here. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's casual, you might say. Like that wash uh, setting, right, Moto? Very, very casual. That's exactly right. I uh, for my stickers, I have a box. Like a lot of you guys have a bin or a box, and it's just full of stickers. Um, I actually, funny story, like when I was building the roll. Rolling Ninjago City, I bricklinked just like Ninjago stickers. That's all I did. And so now I have a bunch of empty, almost empty uh, <laughs> sticker sheets of Rolling Ninjago City or just Ninjago City. Any Ninjago stickers. I have a lot of those. Um, wow, that's so cool. That must have been exciting to have all those come in. What's that? It must have been exciting to have all those stickers come in and you were just like showered with perfect graphics. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, I've got to everything. But then uh, last time I was at the Lego store when it was open, they had like a, a, a city set sticker pack on like that bin that no one ever goes to. And it, <laughs> it, it, it has like all these like, like food mart and oh, just. Oh, yeah. Like, and a lot of them are all clear, which is great because you can put them on anything. And I've been using them. They had like Wi-Fi stickers and like pet shop and grocery store. And like I've been like on my big mega city thing I've been building. I've been using a lot of those. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. 
do you put stickers on as you go or is there like a final like wash of the whole thing with stickers uh if i'm putting like a set together i don't put stickers on okay. uh i try really hard not to put stickers on um we've just started i i feel like i'm gonna build something way cooler in the future that needs those stickers totally. right yeah uh i, I don't know stranger I, things I, I, Sorry. Yeah, print, printed tiles are like the way to go. Um, but you know, you don't always get printed tiles. But right. Yeah. And that limits you to the use of that piece. You know, there's it's a double-edged sword, right? Like, <laughs> oh, well, yeah. you printed this unique element in this set, and now I can't use that unique element without that thing, without police remover of Nail. So. <laughs> well, Blair, sometimes like a printed element will inspire me to do something else. Like, okay. I, uh, we have like the Harry Potter uh, brickhead set up. Um, and then every time I look at them, I'm like, I really want to do something with those. Like, uh, it's supposed to be like the uh, scarf uh, pieces. I'm like, yeah. those great printed tiles or On like. The tile on the front. Yeah. Yeah, just the audio. Like, oh, uh, those it's are so like good. That. Like, the shirts on the back actually have, like, it's just a a one by four tile, gray <clears> tile, <throat> with lines going down it. It's like, why haven't they been doing this for cars yes. this whole time? But they haven't yeah. for because, yeah. It looks like a grill, but, anyways. Yeah, what did we just see? We just built something. Maybe it's in the haunted house. Uh, where there's some slopes, some white slopes that have parallel black lines on them. Oh, yeah, those are a throwback to the, like, classic space slope. I think that's yeah. a fun nod. That they they were, yeah. it's absolutely. so flexible. Yeah, absolutely. You can use it. Oh, yeah, they're great pieces. Hey, I have stickers to show. Ooh, let's see. Okay, Flynn, I'm can you, interested. are you doing yeah, behind yeah. the scenes stuff? Sure. I gotta, no, I'm done. I gotta, okay. I gotta get close so I can see this. All right, yeah, right up there. It's a small sticker sheet here. Um, in honor of SpaceX's Crew Dragon docking at the ISS today shortly before 10.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, um, this set from 2019 is 7x7 seven seven studs from the Town City Spaceport theme. Um, it's the Spaceport Satellite Service Mission. And it came with a little shuttlecraft and an astronaut that had a gold helmet. And then the little satellite had those um, cool solar panels on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those uh, went on the uh, clear or some sort of trans uh, tile with the modified, with the clips on the side, the like two by three. Yeah, almost like clips. a different shaped yeah. flag, right? Yeah. Yeah. So check out these. I, I love space so much. Um, my son, I, I, I kind of tricked my son into really liking those town space sets and got a bunch of them. And they're all fantastic. <laughs> you tricked him into liking it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we do, we do what we can to we get the can. kids in Lego. Of course. <laughs> So, okay, so I've got, um, oh, so check this out. We're making this little yep. Unikitty set, and it's also got these awesome, and it's kind of the whole reason I wanted this set, actually, is this, like, printed ice cream cone guy. And he's got, like, the great, like, the it's like a pink dome with sprinkles on the top. Yep. And it's got a cheerful face, which you could turn around if you didn't want the, you know, if you just, well, like if you just wanted That's an so ice funny. cream cone. You can mm -hmm. turn the cheerful around. Yeah, around. why? But or then the ice cake. cream cone pieces are printed on both sides. Yeah. Which is awesome. Kind of. That is, that is literally really sweet. Yeah, that's a, that's a piece that just wouldn't work with stickers. Yeah. No. No, no, no the no cone would be yeah, impossible. No who is it? Someone in the in the chat had said that some of the troll sets have these minifigure arms with pins as well. Yes, um, yeah, I think Wilfred yeah, I think was saying it, that. And some of them have new ones too, like Biggie. Oh, I should go grab him. Um, but he has like buff arms like that. Um, <laughs> and the first the first time I saw any arms like that was uh, the little dude out of the Yellow Submarine set. 
Um, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then they're, they're not then they're not made like the other you know um, Angry Birds ones or anything. They're not on that standard <laughs> minifigure arm. So mm -hmm. there's maybe Biggie's ones are actually buff arms like that. I'll have to go grab him maybe at uh, Sammy Avocado time. I'll go get it. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Which I do be... have some stickers though. If you want to see what I brought. Yeah, up. please. What you got. Let us see the stickers. I, I decided to go a little um, off script and uh, and grab some stickers that aren't from sets. Although I'm going to do a set one first because we were talking about it last time and you guys were kind enough to show the mystery machine. I wanted to show everybody the mystery machine and how difficult those stickers would be to the uninitiated. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Yeah. So this is my extra sticker sheet. Like I said, I was lucky enough to have an extra. So if my daughter, you know, continues to drive it into the wall, um, then I can <laughs> fix them someday. This one's really cool, though. So having a couple of these. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the haunted yes. tree yeah. sticker is so good. I do wish those had been printed, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, and I really love the um, the printed hubcaps that came with it, the with the green and the orange yeah. little flowers. Oh, yeah. So good. The other stuff I brought out was um, some cool, like, freebie stuff. Um, so not from sets, although one of them is from a product. This one is from uh, one of the Lego Moleskins. And so oh, these are... Oh, yeah. We just opened up one of those, right? Yep. Yep. Very cool. So those cool. are kind of fun. That's great. Be good, they'd be good for, like, um, maybe a clothing shop or something. Sure. That'd be really cool. And then uh, this one was from Lego Brand Retail when the Disney Princess line first came out. Oh, nice. Hooray. So there's some fun ones in there. They all have this white um, margin, but, you know, they, they're die cut really nice. So if you wanted to use them as decor in, like, a little mock of a kid's room or something, they're pretty cool. Um, let's see, another Lego Brand Retail one that I've kept intact was uh, the one for Lego Life. Oh, um, yeah, that's great. These stickers were not quite the same quality. They were very, very thin and not very sticky. So um, what I do like, though, and I've actually used in a mock, are these, the oh, little yeah. air, the quotes. <laughs> so the little speech bubbles are really cool because you can write on those. You could write with, like, a dry erase even if you wanted to and say, like, hey, and then, you know, stick it on a minifig, like, right on their face. Uh -huh, nice. I love the little animals. I would want to do like a house with a cat in the window or something like yeah. that. Um, and then the the last one is that I still have a few of these ah, from, from the monster. That's great. Nice. Um, I have the big decals somewhere too, but they might be in a you know one of those special places where I can't. Yeah. Right. Where did we get? Well, there will we... always be a sticker time, so you'll always have an opportunity if you find them. <laughs> to, to show so i wanted i did want to show so brick anista was just asking about the mole skins and we actually actually happen to have one here Ooh, that's um, a cool one. yeah it's a pretty it's a pretty uh it's a pretty nice one it's a small one it's got a brick you know or a plate actually glued to the front and some little like the little drawings of the bricks and then and it's funny because i did just discover this the other day it's in the back like in the back of the book this is a, a little paper envelope and then you open the little paper envelope and it does indeed have stickers in it uh that are little bricks oh wow oh or plates. yeah mine had labels like that except they looked like bricks like this you know vertically oriented with the yeah. studs on top and they had different labels for different categories sweet yeah How ours fun. was a uh, ours was yeah. um a uh, Christmas gift from our dog sitter. <laughs> She's really yeah. really sweet. I did. I did want to mention those stickers that you were showing. They really bring that space town module to life. If you look at it, oh. I mean they 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 add an incredible amount of detail. Yeah, I had to go yeah, grab cause... my son. My son set there. I'll go give it back to him. Is that the Saturn V? Too short. Too short. <laughs> oh no no! This is just the dual stage rocket. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> but yeah, the stickers really add a lot of uh, detail and flair to it. Wow, look at that. Um, uh, Skittles is right on time. Like, Skittles is actually go. a little early. <laughs> She's been sitting here looking. <laughs> Skittles 
it's too much. <laughs> She's been sitting over here just staring at me for about five minutes. <laughs> that must be my mic. Well, this the, is that a cue? <laughs> well, no, we've got about we've got about a minute. And a half up, you know, because there, I know, I truly believe oh, that there cool, are some Holly. people who only come onto the show to watch Logan Cookie Time and then leave because, like, our numbers go up and then they go right back down like five minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll get, let's see these stickers. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, sorry for the interruption. She's <laughs> not cooperating. Never work with animals and children, right? Okay, so uh, this is awesome. It's too much though. All right, so I, I wonder if you guys didn't already do this one because it's now that I'm because I didn't know the set number when when I looked up the set number it looked familiar. So I feel like you guys have talked about this, but it's seven six zero oh, seven eight Hulk versus Red Hulk. Yeah, did you show, we did. Yeah, we did that one. one. I love it's that. Still, it's set. worth showing again. It's a great one. I, I mean, I picked another one too, just in case, because I I thought that looked familiar. But yeah, those are those are really cool. See, it's upside. I didn't know that one had radioactive symbols too. I'll have to get yeah. through them. Yeah, well, and then what's nice about one. that is, right, like those are great stickers for a mech. Yeah. Right? Like that. Yeah. And dystopia, like anything. Yeah. I'm, I like the I'm shredded seeing. caution signs. So, Mark, you like this This one we were just talking about would be good for a mech, These those stickers. Oh, yeah, yeah. He probably has them. Yeah, I'm sure. Maybe yeah. he has like a couple of them. And of course, well, I know we talked about this when we talked about it before, but you know who worked on that set is our friend Justin Ramsden. That's right. That's yeah, right. Mark That's found a set. Yeah, yeah, those are good. Mark yeah. found a big set. Oh, Ooh, what are those? What is that? This, good. this is from, um, and these are on the trans clear background, so that's, that's better. Uh, yeah, so this is from. Seven six zero five zero. The Crossbones Hazard Heist. That's wow. awesome. Well, now, is it what? What line is that? That's Avengers. Avengers. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's one that I don't. I don't really follow. I mean, like I know it's the a, Avengers, it's, obviously. Actually, but... it's from uh, Captain America: Civil War. That uh, says. Oh, cool. Cool. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing. I get. I get lost. <laughs> I know. Potato. Potato. All right, if folks. Well, I think it is. I think it's about that time. It Ooh, is I I time for um, for Logan Cookie time. All right, here we go. All right, you know. Uh, so obviously, it always takes a second to get. Uh oh, no, it doesn't take him a second. Here we go. He knows what time it is. Come here, Spence. Logan, come, come here. here. Logan, come here, Spence. Hi, buddy. Here we go. <laughs> Come here, Spence. Look, Spencer's getting a cookie too. Yay! There you go. Logan says, "What about me?" <laughs> Happiness. Look, he wants a whole one. That got your attention. Good boy. <laughs> Yay! Logan, cookie time. Skittles, Yay, cookie Spencer time. And Spencer, Skittles. cookie time. Oh. And Sammy destroyed the laundry room time. Yay! Yay! Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, Logan's done. He's usually not done, but he was done. Oh, oh it's avocado time. Oh, no. <laughs> avocado, look at the book. Yeah. Your cat's like, yeah, no, I don't perform. <laughs> so, no, I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> He's an old man cat. He's like 18. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, you, you got me out of the window for this? You guys really should oh. not try to give a cookie to a ghost dog. Oh, oh. Michael. <laughs> well, Michael's scared. Michael, you are killing me today. You are ridiculous, and I love you. You're so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's feeling better now. Oh, good. You've got you got okay. it together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, he's oh. Steve Harmley. Cookie time complete. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We had 40 viewers. Now we're at, like, 25. So it's oh. just it's one of those things. <laughs> Holly, Holly, did you just do this to Skittles to show that you had nothing? That's yeah. my symbol to Logan. Like, all gone. There's no more. Yeah. Yeah. And then he goes about yeah. his way. Well, she still she still Sometimes sees the back. She goes but she's about not his going way. anywhere. Coffee. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is you're getting a rare like on camera coffee fill. Exciting. I would just be drinking Ooh. right out of the carafe. That's pretty much where I am today. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, Richard what? and Flynn, do you remember when we went to Goodwill and got those like uh, beakers? Yeah, we have all those. We've got actually in our we build do? room. Yeah, in our build room on the windowsill, because every time I pull down the blinds that we use for a light bounce, I'm afraid I'm going to break them. We haven't. They're delicate, like big glass beakers, right? Beakers <laughs> and Erlenmeyer flasks and. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the this get a yeah. great uh, pour over coffee and French press and like I feel like that was one of our first bonding experiences like we went out it was like what five of us or something and I didn't really know anyone yet and yeah, we didn't know yeah, our way yeah. around it was just when we went uh, to Goodwill uh, Richard and Flynn Mark and Boone and Sam yep yeah the Goodwill and I bought a pair of pants that I turned into shorts, and those were the one pair of shorts that I had in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> I got a uh, I got a shirt at that Goodwill that I wore on the series because they wanted me to have really? like they wanted me to have like twenty outfits. You remember like so many outfits? Yeah. So many outfits. I don't have many clothes. Oh, that you know, it's funny. Like people have been doing these like tips for people. If you're going to be on, you know, Lego Master Season Two, if you want to be on here, the <laughs> tips. Like, make sure you practice. Make sure you do that. Go clothes shopping <laughs> now because I Look. you will dedicate at least two weeks to dealing yeah. with just getting that together. I know no, it's so, not, yeah. not at that point. Nope. <laughs> I know it's just yeah. a little behind I, the scenes. I sent more pictures of me wearing flannels to production yeah. before <laughs> I cast it than I did actual Lego builds. Well, people. But, yeah. uh, and but then people, I did print sorry. up, and, and uh, Taylor had to go shopping and like buy me flannels and. You had flannels, whatever. I have flannels. They wouldn't let me wear hat or just t-shirts, but they just wanted me in flannels and the same jeans every day. Yeah. And got to a point where like uh, the wardrobe department went out shopping. Yep. Uh, funny story, you can actually uh, rewatch. Jamie Berard wears the same prints because they stagger the episodes, but I had the same print flannel of him on different episodes. <laughs> yeah, gone. Yeah. And then yeah, that was buy one, get one. That, yeah, yeah, uh, totally. Well, they only have so much flannel in LA, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's all been sent to Portland and Seattle. Yeah. yeah, the, yeah. The Mega City, I was so upset they put me in like a denim shirt. Oh, and that's I was, right. I would never wear a denim shirt. And I remember the wardrobe lady going, well, here you do. <laughs> you do wear that shirt. And I was like, okay. Like, and it was so hot. And I had, like, an undershirt. And I'm, like, sweating the whole time. Yeah, anyways. Man, yeah. What, is with the, well, what is with the denim? Because I remember when, uh, when they were uh, doing the casting calling and, like, you know, we had this whole circle of friends that were getting tapped, right? And, um, you know, Kelly and Kat, ladies who, like... Yeah, yeah. Did you hear about the whole thing with, like... Yeah, so before we knew really knew anything, you know, they were just... It, it was kind of creepy, like, as, as, a, as a woman, when you're getting messages from total random strangers, and they're like, can I see a picture of you in a denim vest or something? Or, like, in a <laughs> denim jacket? You know, they're like, I want to see you in a denim jacket and, like glasses or something like obviously they were trying to kind of you know yeah, yeah. Uh, right. criteria but she was just like yeah that's super creepy <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah i mean that that would definitely be good advice to anyone applying for season two is just wear whatever they want you to wear and well you like, don't really have a choice well like so people ask <laughs> like, about if it was what's that what's up mark i'll say flynn they had you in those black pants in the black shirt. Was yeah, that a challenge? And you were not happy about that. Well, like, no, because they made this huge deal to me um, at, at, from the very beginning that we want you in colors, colors, bright colors, fun. It has to be fun and colorful. 
yeah. you know, <clears throat> gay. That's what, and I was well, like, they said, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be <laughs> no, so I, I went to the trouble of like getting all of these colorful shirts and then they were like, no, to a bunch of them. And then like they show up with this black shirt that kind of, I mean, all right. It was a style that it you just had sort of said you didn't want to wear. Yeah, go. it was a style I said I didn't want to wear, and, and and it was black, and it was, like, all depressing, and, of course, it ended up being our last episode, and I was like, I should have known when they put me in the funeral shirt that this is what was going to happen. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what yeah. you kept saying, too. It's like, oh, we're getting eliminated. They put me in my funeral shirt. Like, yeah. like act like we're going out. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Oh. Well, you know, like we're, <laughs> like we're talking about tips for people. I would say, especially for um, for women builders, um, they want you to wear your stuff, right? But they want your stuff to look different from all the other teams. So if you have a choice, wear something comfortable. Amy of Tyler and Amy was in heels for the, for the first, first episode, running back and forth to the brick pit. And um, and Amy of Crystal and Amy wore a floor length cape that dragged on the oh, floor man, until they pinned it up. Yeah, and that was try tough. and run back and forth in that stuff and like <laughs> under the lights and and then you know Corey and um, Travis wore suits. Oh, oh man. man. They, they said that that's like their thing though that they that that's because i i asked Corey about yeah. that like if that's what he would actually wear like how much of that was kind of done up for the show and he's yeah. like no this is like i'm comfortable in this this is kind of my style yeah. well their dad um dressed very um well Gosh. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. and was an inspiration, but I couldn't. I don't think I could build delicate stuff in a suit coat. Like, no. I down yeah, or I felt really bad for um, for Tyler, Aaron, and and those boys, uh, um, just because it was they were like in suits, and I can't even imagine. Yes. Not only was it uncomfortable, but hot. Yeah. Like you're wearing like multiple layers and like a tie all the way up and just, ugh, no. Christian had it easy. He was you guys are like... giving me so much anxiety. I gotta go change my shirt. <laughs> yeah, Christian I'm just glad had that it, I, Christian had I it have super like easy. half a dozen kilts. So, you know, if they throw, oh, if they throw yeah. me in that, in that pit. That's gonna be your thing, man. If you, well, if think... you wear that, it, it, like in, a, in an interview or whatever, you're gonna be kind of like, you're gonna be, that's gonna be your thing. You have to wear it every, I have had I like just, you know two months worth of kilts. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 have pockets, I got. I did my Lego wedding in a kilt. I just won a kilt for being utility kilter of the month, and then I have quite a few that I've worn to varying degrees of worn all the way out. So. You, okay, wait, wait, wait. So roll back here a second. Utila kilter of the month. Mm -hmm. Is there a calendar that, um, that I can purchase? You <laughs> <laughs> well, the calendar the calendar shoot was the yard work in the Mad Max outfit. That's what got me on their radar, oh. and then I asked them if they were still doing the competition, and they were like, "Yes, and you should probably apply now." Uh. And so now I have a new like three hundred dollar kilt. It's fantastic. Awesome. All right. Well, very good. Those I were some epic Blair, photos. I so happy we live in the same town. Yeah, same. <laughs> I mean, like, notice, notice that that, that had like no surprise shock effect on us at all. <laughs> all right. Well, you know a nice thing about Utila kilts and Lego, <laughs> especially in a hurry, pockets. I was. And you can pockets. I had my yeah. shirt tucked and was like carrying stuff in the front of my shirt, and that doesn't yeah, work so well. I wondered about that, like with with uh, Crystal and Amy, like in their cosplay and stuff. That was that was actually something that occurred to me. Is like, man, how do you if you have like no pockets or any like? Yeah, well, we didn't. And you only get so many. And bins. Sam had aprons that had like big old pockets in them. I was that super apron. jealous. And Sam will even say, like, I remember when Sam had, like, an apron on, he'd be like, well, I get to carry more than you guys. And then he would run to the brick pit and fill his apron, and it was part of his wardrobe. And I'm like, what? But yeah. we would always, not always, but, like, occasionally smuggle out Lego, like, uh, <laughs> during the explosion challenge. I have this. Uh, it was during Boone and I's like robot versus alien explosion challenge that got smuggled out in Amy, i.e., uh, <laughs> in her hood, like because <laughs> and when we, 
<laughs> went and like, investigated. I picked up a few things, and then I was holding them in my hand, and then all of a sudden, she reaches back and just goes, <laughs> and then I'm like, all right, cool. And then she gave them to me later. I was like, what the? Yeah, That's I got good. one one by two i got a one by two green brick with char marks all over it was my that was my yeah. big my big heist i wonder if it was one of legor's nipples oh my God. <laughs> that'd be a great claim to all fame of us during that challenge we didn't want to explode anything or smash anything because yeah. we worked for how many hours and then build something awesome. We had to build a light, and then you guys had the the space ball bat, you know, and like, yep, ours had to explode, and we had to meet that dude in the sweatpants uh, that did the explosion stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but I would think uh, if the brick is truly destroyed, well, why wouldn't they have a problem? not recycling back into the no, pit at that I, point. I don't think oh, so, but every, we were all careful about the rules. Uh, yeah. As far as, like, everything that was on the show got sent back, but we, it was kind of like watching this in person was kind of like a moment of, like, like a cringe moment, kind of like, uh, uh, but you're yeah. doing thing. And uh, so we all wanted to, like, keep parts of it kind of thing i don't know no i have to, from what i'm i have to say though they were actually really good about like letting us keep stuff if we found it in the dumpster <laughs> like yeah. you know they were like they would be you know there was a couple of things that we got i ended up actually unfortunately yeah there you go yeah, yeah. Into the wall yeah. it was bursting yeah. through the wall yeah. yeah i was gonna say alive with the sweat of terry cruz i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah that was i just remember they were really good about um like because there was those cool like brick shaped trays and i ended up getting one and then i yeah. couldn't i i had so much stuff going home i had to leave it at the airport and i was very sad it was what? like yeah yeah I didn't know that. I have a video of uh, you and Boone singing uh, Parting Glass uh, as a trial run, and you were standing on that because you weren't as tall as Boone. I know, I understand. A video. On it. You were standing on it, yeah. Nobody's as tall as Boone, though. <laughs> no. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey, just wanted to say hi to a couple people in the chat. Marilyn Parmley's here. Hey, Marilyn. Uh, Brick and Nisa Naomi is here. And let's see who else we got. Stud Sidious is here. And Mr. Elmo Man says Mr. hi, Elmo Man, Mark yeah. and Holly and Blair and Moto and Richard and Flynn. Why well, you got everybody? Hi, Mr. Everybody Elmo Man. How's it going? Hey. And uh, and Mr. Elmo Man does great. Uh, always turns in great stuff for our challenges. So I hope he's got something ready for the um, the uh, the mech challenge, the robot challenge, Mr. Elmo Man. We're looking forward to seeing what you got. Oh, Blair, many fig chick says even though she's a girl, she wants a utility kill. She says they, they uh, she says everybody. they're just really cool skirts. Oh, do they make oh. for men and women different sizes? Well, I mean, they're it's, technically unisex, but they yeah. do make a, a billion varieties. They have a bunch of really rare colors right now, uh, purples, and they had a hot pink Spartan for a minute, and then they also make micro kilts too. Um, I, I don't own one of those, but I do. I do own a cyber dog micro kilt. Um, I, I think I would need a maxi kilt. <laughs> well, they have they have really great measurements, and it's all about like basically coming right to the top of your knee, and that when you kneel down, the pleats shouldn't touch the ground. Like they should be like just hovering above the ground. Oh, and they, got it. they have a really good guide for how to how to get that measurement on yourself. Remember this, folks. <laughs> just above the ground. Oh. So Blair, yeah. The more you know. There's guys in Portland that I've been working with. Uh, they yes. wear the Carhartt Utila kilts. Yeah, I have one of those, the Workman's. It's yeah. so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the photos I put it up put up were of me like welding in one of those kilts. <laughs> yeah, I'm so tempted because I'm like, eh, this is like summertime. I can't wear shorts, but I can wear a kilt. <laughs> and and okay, just because I saw a guy on a different um, 
reality TV show that my, my wife and daughter were watching, like Flower Battle or something. Uh, yeah, we've been watching that. Yeah, so that guy, the eccentric that looks kind of like me and a lot of my friends, um, he was wearing a kilt, and they asked him, and they were like, so are you wearing it traditionally? And he was like, no, I don't want to flash people. And I was like, come on, guy. But then they showed him, like, laying on the ground underneath his sculpture, so I kind of get it. All but right. Utila kilts, I in particular, <laughs> have a design where they... So this is a person, and the kilt goes around the person. They have a design where there are snaps in the back and the front, and you can cinch them together very easily with, like, a little toggle. So it's for you if you got to climb a ladder or something. You just don't want to flash people. There's an option for that. High winds... Um, <laughs> yeah, actually, when you were talking, they've, they've taken that into consideration. When you were act, act, talking earlier about um, about getting bricks from the brick pit, and I was thinking, like, all of the kids in my classes, their favorite way to pick up Lego is to like take their shirt up and use it as like a basket. And I was like, that's probably what you don't want to do with your kilt on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Use it, <laughs> use it as a yeah. basket, like just, Michael. Like, the... <laughs> <laughs> Turns it, yeah, that turns into a different show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a very, yes. <laughs> well, there's also a divide in the front pleats, so it wouldn't work. But the, but the pockets are super keen for Lego. I mean, I'm finding Lego in my pockets any given day, but my Utilico pockets will hold many, many pounds of Lego. Wow, right now is one of the few days in memory where I don't have at least one Lego brick in my pocket. I do. I just... I've got a good one. Oh, like is a, that like, a barrette with a, it's a with Lego a flower? Lincoln's barrette. Oh, very nice. Nice. Oh. Oh. Cool. So, so that's cool. the back of the let the click it will go into that. I think. Let me see if I have a stud. Here. Yesterday, I found a giant top hat in my pocket. Oh, a, a Lego utility. Oh, wow. Nice. Very nice. Like yes. it's, it's actually a custom one. It's a it's like an extra tall one. What madness That's is going fancy. on there? Oh, yeah. oh. So the um, clickets have the two sides. There's like the positive side and the negative type side. The negative type side you can put a stud into. So I'm planning on doing like a little hair mock cool. thing <laughs> for, the, for the wearable show. It's oh yes. Oh please yeah. yes. We are um, so. Anybody who follows the stream knows that we sometimes talk about Animal Crossing, and sometimes. So, we, well, we usually bring it up once. Maybe not recently. Anyway, no, we got to give the people their bingo. Yeah. So everybody yeah, knows this. And everybody knows the story that I have um, a baboon who lives on my island named Boone, mm -hmm. and I invited him to the island because his name <laughs> is Boone, and. <laughs> He also, <laughs> so he's basically got, he's got Boone's name, but Christian's personality. So like all he ever talks about is working out. He's like, come on, we're going to get pumped, bro. And that, so I always, it makes me laugh because it's kind of like the two of them. Anyway. The thing about working out, like. Yeah, there's a, some of the characters in Animal Crossing, there's a personality type that's like a jock. And they all talk about, you know, depending on, but I happen to get Boone. So talks about healthy snacks yeah, and, and, and working out and stuff. It's pretty great. Anyway, so <laughs> they will if you give these the animals clothes, they will they will wear them. And I was looking for like and Boone was someone I didn't know what to buy for. So I was like, what do I get? And they're like, oh, here's a list of things that he'll like. And one of them was this really long, elaborate, like red and gold, like kimono type thing. And I was like, oh, he'll wear that? Awesome, I totally wanna wear it. Believe me, I'm tying this into micro kilts. You'll see why. So <laughs> it's a robe that goes all the way to the floor. Well, I gave it to him and he was super excited about it and he put it on. And well, I guess the way that they like they animate the animals, they don't wear pants or yes. anything below the waist. So when he put it on, it suddenly became like a micro robe. So now I have this like big burly gorilla walking around in a red and gold micro robe with like a little tiny skirt. It's so good. Named Boone. <laughs> Name Boone. So it makes it worth it makes it all worth it. See, I promise it was coming back around to it was coming back around to Lego and and mini utila kilts and all of it. See, because that's the thing about the Tricky Bricks uh, live stream. You just never know, especially on a Sunday. Where will the conversation go today? Where will it be? <laughs> okay. Oh my. 
So here's a wild card, actually. Uh-oh. You all um, knew that you were going to come on. Is there anything that you particularly wanted to bring up or talk about? Something you're excited about right now? Anyone? Yeah, Richard. I, I have a setup in my garage I'd like to show off, but I'm going to have to drop with this camera and come back on my mobile. Okay. Okay, we can That's do that. That's exciting. We'd love to see that. Okay. I think you guys know what I'm, know what I'm talking about. I, I do. Think I, I, like I do. Yeah. I do okay, know what so you're I'm talking gonna, about. Yeah. All right, we'll see Ran you back in a minute then. Ran out of space in the laundry room, so now he's out in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold, hold my brick separator, Holly. I'll be right back. All right, all right. I'll hold it. <laughs> oh man! Wow, co I guess it's no wonder we have coffee, you know, for our building chat because it's the we most popular to. beverage in Lego. Everyone's got a coffee yeah. cup. I know everybody says like coffee always. Oh, tea. I should show you guys. Oh man, I don't nice have it down cup. here. We made a we made a uh, so for my son's. I well, I sent it. I think I sent it to you to plan um, for my son's school assignment this week. He had they were working on maps. He's like a second grader, so the focus was maps and the it was like you know take a take a walk around your neighborhood and see if you can draw a map kind of thing. So cool. we did that. We kind of sketched it out, and we we just took a walk to like Starbucks, which is kind of a destination within walking distance that motivated him. Um, and then we got back and built it all out of Lego. So we built a little micro Starbucks with the little star piece and then the dollar sign or the oh, dollar nice. and then put the little you know coffee cup mug on top. And I thought that was super cute. Yeah. Oh, so somebody's saying, yeah, coffee cups or wine goblets. It's totally, yeah, yeah, it's, you're either <laughs> drinking wine or you're drinking coffee. In, in, like, or I like those big goblets, the vintage yes. ones. Those are so the oversized cool. ones, yeah. Yes. Oh, I haven't seen those. That looks really cool. Oh, yeah, really? they're like round. They're, well, I think those are from Belleville originally, right? Yeah, Belleville or Scala. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, Belleville is getting mythological oh, proportions around here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're just, we don't really have any. What? Or barely Scala? any. Scala or Belleville. Belleville, we we've got quite much. a bit. It's Scala that we don't have a lot of. And our friend Drew just um, sent us a picture. Like, he got the raised base plate. It's from Scala, and it's some, like, fancy, like, kidney bean-shaped pool with, like, a staircase going down yeah. into it. And it was, uh, it's amazing. I oh, you know, like, I want, I want that. <laughs> Although I haven't built much on those um, on those on raised odd... base plates because they they seem very flimsy. Like, does anybody who's built on those know? Yeah, I like... love them. You just have to, you just have to you know build across them. Just kind of yeah. I play, kind of plate over them and then build up. Got oh, it. like plate across. So I noticed there's lots of huge smooth parts. We have a, a yeah. pyramid one, right? Yeah, we have the one from. Uh, um, oh darn it! The um, it's the a Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's quest. quest. The Ferris Quest Pyramid, yeah, that one has, it. we have the big raised thing from there, it was pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Well, oh, to see Blair has disappeared, Mark is here, and Ali's here, and Komodo's gone. I was like, oh wait, I looked up and suddenly we were down. <laughs> I thought maybe he went to go find an oversized goblet. Oh, yes, all Could right. Could be. Um, oversized glass, goblets. Whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, my mom has just arrived and she says, Hi guys, fill in your bingo cards. <laughs> Hi, mom. Hi, Elise. Nice to see you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow. This has been this has been snatch. one of our more sort of like wide ranging Sunday chats that we've had before, I think. Is uh, they we've really gone to a lot of yeah. places well, some, today. Sometimes we're very targeted, but I like the whole just like relax and hang out. Well, I think that's always it's always fun, right? Like we do we do so much like trying to rush through our I mean not rush through, but you know, we try to go quickly through our It's good to have shows, a clip, right? we got to build and you got to do, but this is always so nice and relaxing. I don't feel like Hey, I might I might have to mute. I might have to mute over here cuz Eric uh, my husband's working on a building out a recording studio back here actually. So Nice. What? Yeah, kind of yeah, it's going to get he's got nail guns and stuff out. So if it gets loud, I'll I'll mute. Sorry. That's that is totally fair. I, I can't. So, uh, here I need to. Um, wait. I need to check out for. I'm just responding to someone in this. Uh, He's responding to someone. Hard. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh oh, Blair's back. I think we may have a goblet. 
I, I was having trouble finding one in, in time. I didn't want to leave for too long. But I do have some other stuff to show if you guys sure. want to see some other stuff. I can you probably always, find one. I you always have one. awesome stuff to show. Let's see. Here we go. All um, right. So one, I want to say I do have my favorite Disney pin with me today. And that is my Rebel Alliance pin from Star Tours when I was a kid. Nice. Ooh, fun. Rebel Alliance, more important now than uh, just about any time in human history. The other <laughs> thing, I'm also wearing a cool shirt. Awesome, timely shirt from uh, Kevin Hinkle. <laughs> Playing all the bricks. Awesome. That's so good. You darn yeah, dirty that, brick. Uh, a few months ago, Kevin's designs are fantastic. And, the, you know, multicolor printing, too. Like, there's not... There's not always a lot of that out there in the Lego world, so like really, really quality stuff. That's very fun. That's super um, fun. We're talking about Mecca. I have a couple going. I finally got some new pieces, so I'm heading back in on my. Um, it's a technically it's not a Tachikoma. It's a Fuchikoma from Ghost in the Shell. Okay. Um, but it's one of oh. the. Mecha assistance that Section 9 uses um, in the animation and in the manga. And um, they have like a mono eye with a bunch of sensors and stuff up front. They have four legs. And then there's the back is like the cockpit, and people kind of load in from the back. So I'm still designing that right now. And then I'm using, I'm actually going to change over, I think, to these for the legs to get that real oh, nice yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Masamune Shuro shaping on those guys. Is that and on a Bionicle it. base? Uh, the base is actually one of those like <laughs> octagonal Oh no! Where you just clip all around. I love that piece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then it has the axle hole in the middle of it. Cool. cool. Uh, here's a work in progress mech that I've been that's been kicking around for a while. I picked it up off the off the scrap heap. Wow, wow. you found some really interesting shaped yellow pieces. I'm actually tr gonna try to work in yellow for my mech, but I'm gonna collect all of our yellows to see what's possible first. Don't you? Yeah, there's getting... definitely a pile of that. Very nice. Well, Blair, if you're well, so contrasting, if you're available on Friday to come check out the um, the mech photos from the viewers with us, uh, well, Jermaine's going to be here uh, oh, from cool. Lego Master, and if you can be here, and then hopefully Mark can be here. Although I know he's probably might have to work, but we'll see. We'll get some um, expertise. But about yeah, we have the some subject. Like, yeah, because oh, I definitely love my home theme. <laughs> Yeah, and that I, would be awesome. And everybody really, uh, I know that the viewers really enjoy um, having people who are really, you know, that's their main focus of what they do, talk about the stuff that they've built. So I think that's perfect. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yay. That's awesome. All right. Yay. I love that. See, that's what I love. Again, ever evolving stream, right? So, oh, Holly, it looks like you have, um, you looks like you got something going on here. This is the oversized. Hey, there oh, it is. Yeah. Got a little there. Yes, I've That's got great. some of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you were. I thought you meant like, like you know, a big like trophy size one, like the kind. I just you meant can... like compared to human hands, very large. Yeah, it's pretty. Right. It's as big as a head. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I just went and grabbed a bin of Belleville stuff, and like, it's what a treasure trove of. of parts in there. Oh, I can see it in the background. I see part of a castle all bagged up and stuff. Yeah, that was one of the, like, undersea castles or something. Can and then you show us some I, pieces of it? I think yeah, people would love well, to see I, that. I love it. So if anybody's not familiar with Belleville, I have to show off one of the figures. It's freaky. But yeah. this one especially. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that the witch? Figures. That's the witch, yes. Yeah. Now, are, those, here. are those similar to Technic figures? Uh -huh. I saw no. I saw a Technic figure that was sort of oversized. Really? What do you, what do you say, Blair? So the Technic figures um, are kind of cool. Here, I, let me go grab one. That'll be fast. Uh, that figure's great, Holly. Hey, Nick yeah. Sweetman, how's it going? Welcome, Nick. I mean, it's kind of. Am I wrong? It feels a little creepy. Oh my, she's. Got, oh, her face see, is awesome. See, though. she looks better in that outfit, I think. Yeah, that's a, that's a different one. Yeah, so that, that one's a little more upsetting. Person. The the face looks a little sour for that particular outfit. So then the scale for Belleville was like what four times the size weird. of many yeah, figure scale. Yeah, weird. Wow. Here's a less. Well, and then the Scala ones were more like Barbie, right? 
Uh, the skull yeah, figures. They yeah, they I'm were... trying to get some of those right now. Oh belly. no, I know. I don't know, Holly. That's a little racy. <laughs> yeah. Did you have the little boy? Did you have the little boy in the bathing suit? Because that one's like sold out everywhere. That one's really hard to get. Oh, Mark, you got? Do you have something for us? No. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> I thought you were raising your hand. No, uh, he was he shielding a, his I, eyes. Shielding I, your I, eyes from the horror. The sky. Uh, no, okay, I grabbed my uh, my figures non-conforming bin, and uh, which is full. <laughs> wait, 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 hang on, hang on, Blair. We have to see this first. Do this, show this again. What is that, Holly? What the mermaid? It's a mermaid. <laughs> is that a soft costume on the figure? It is. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's one of the cool things about Belleville is you get a lot of. Uh, like cloth pieces. In fact, I tried to incorporate this into like a canopy bed, but it ended up being everything so oversized for the Belleville that it ended up not working. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. go up a scale into their scale exactly. range before a lot of their items work, which is why, I don't know, there's a lot of people Ooh. who don't know like Oh, I have why. that piece, that little so cool. trans piece Wait. with the fish on it. Uh -huh. I always wondered where that came from. That's so cool. I'm sorry, like, what were you saying, Blair? I was just going to say the scale thing, um, these older themes are actually the reason a lot of um, accessories are oversized because so many of the accessories initiated back in Belleville and Scala and Fabuland and whatever when the characters were not minifigure scale. So mm. similar to like the teeny tiny doors that were before the minifigures existed, these mid scale figures have now permanently affected like things like the turkey. The turkey's bigger than a minifigure because it was made for a family that, you know, was oh, this size. Okay, that makes sense. Which is which is kind of amazing because now everything's comically large. So it just adds to the wonderment of Lego. Yes. It's just like, why is this thing so big? Why is this piece of bread bigger than my child? Like <laughs> as big as my doorway, you know? So yeah. like, it's pretty amazing and hilarious at the same time. Isn't that um, funny the way we, um, like, we, we talk seriously about making things that are accurate models and all that, but there's a huge amount of suspension of disbelief about the yeah. physics and, and structure of this world. Let me, let me drink this drink. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Isn't that cool? That's beautiful. Well, that's Hello, Moto's back. That's beautiful, oh, Holly. Wow, and you got like a little seamless there. Very nice. Okay, Blair, let me put you up here so we can see your... Um... Are those Technic? So these are three different things. Um, this is like the old, oh, old posable figure. Yeah. Um, and then this is a Belleville child. And then this is a Technic figure. That's um, the... I've seen those guys before, the Technic figures. Interesting. Yes. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, it's from my bin of non-conforming minifigures here. Um, <laughs> Fabuland, <laughs> trophy figs, micro figs. So um, these guys, they went for like a doll-like realism during this phase, but the, the sets were kind of garbage, um, unfortunately. They were a lot of large uh, specified elements that um, didn't really fit in the rest of the Lego world. Uh, maybe like a three-piece chair that scaled to these, or like a bed, or like those cloth pieces, or your entire room that you built. Like I remember my little sister having one. It was like a base plate, two walls, and a bed, and a sink. You know, maybe like oh, a dresser. Yeah. But no, there weren't any tiny brick components. And so these are both, as far as like the history of posable figures go, like Lego knocked it out of the park. These things are fantastic. Um, their range of motion is really cool. I've seen some awesome people like Grant Masters and other builders using just the feet of these to build um, like little PlayStation controllers and stuff. Wow. Because these do, these do pop off. They're a little bit of a pain to get off, but they do pop off. Oh, so you um, can take them apart without breaking them. I was afraid I would some, break some the pieces, Technic piece. Yeah, some pieces yes, some pieces no. So this is still the Belleville one, and they disassemble But my Belleville easily. ones don't disassemble. The feet don't. Come off, do you think? And uh, it's a little bit of pressure, but like they've got these cool pinned in arms. That's the wow. inside. But then the Technic guys are a little bit different. So Technic guys, um, they have a little less range of motion because their hips are just like not quite as posable, but they do come apart yeah. in a similar way. But what's really cool about Technic guys is that they have Technic 
built in. So Ooh. you can make you wow. can make like an exo suit directly from them. Um, they were my favorite action figure when I was a kid, just because of well, this guy I think is the one from when I was a kid. Apparently, he's got uh, a very sort of so um, Freddie Mercury. That's what look. I was thinking. He's got a very yeah. Freddie Mercury feeling going on. I want to break free. Um, <laughs> so they're I, so cool. And then I think this one uh, with a Technic. With uh, Technic heads, they fit on. Uh, if you you can swap. Technic heads and Fabulon or Fabuland. Yeah, that's what Drew was just saying in the oh, chat. I can do that. Wow. You can swap them. Who's gonna so swap? So you can have animal body with a human head or a uh, animal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so oh, amazing. We're gonna we're gonna do it live. Ready? Yes. <laughs> These are a little harder. Fabuland are like two hands. Oh, I was afraid I would break it. Oh, it's just a Fabuland character. We finally part. got our, <laughs> we finally got our first Fabuland character. I Dude. want more. Dude. I love that. Very good. We I didn't have know to that. do that. That's amazing. We what? have to do that. Okay, now I need both Fabuland and Technic figures. I didn't think I would need wow. Technic Look figures, here, but I did. We should do a collaborative build where we do a whole world of like Fabuland, but with Technic figs. In yes. Yes. I could, I could get down with that. Yeah. We'll just have to make the buildings a little taller. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez, okay. That's you know, it's kind of interesting, though. I've got some feet. I've got a couple of feet that, that do detach and then some that don't. So, and they're both, they're both Belleville. So I'm not really sure why. Oh, that's but, wild. I didn't know yeah. that fixed posed ones like ha yeah. like most of them are they have i have a couple that have the the ones that you know move and or pivot or whatever and then some that some that don't although i will say where they really didn't think through the articulation this guy i, I kid you not came right right out of the bag like this wow <laughs> so, well, there's that i know <laughs> right um, <laughs> see, see, come, come for the utilikilt, stay for the history of Lego figures. Like, who knew? That's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah. Nice. Wow. I feel like I feel like I'm so behind. Oh, like, all we have are minifigs, and like now I need. Um, well, I've needed Fabuland ones for a long time. Yep. But now I definitely want. Okay, Flynn, I'll make you a deal. I love Technic, so mm -hmm. I'll get a bunch of Technic figures, you get a bunch of Fabulan figures, and then we'll have a play date. I'm all over it. Right on. That would be that would be amazing. That's a great combo move. Now, Moto, now that you're uh, you're here again. <laughs> yeah, what was that? I was gone for a while. Well, so, hey, actually, I was going to say, uh, Mark, you've got the Dupocalypse. Maybe we need to do Fabulocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulocalypse, yep. Yeah, Fabulop. <laughs> no, oh, I, I lost it. 2021, no man. It. Fabulocalypse. I am See, all Technic, all uh, technic uh, figure no, scale. I'm a picture at 2 o'clock in the morning of something I just did that is that. Okay. Like, <laughs> right on. Fabulous. Max. That usually happens with Boom. Like, he has an idea, and I go, yeah, that's cool. And then all of a sudden, he gets a picture at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think Moto, I think Moto just nailed it. Like, Fab Max. Like, that's it. Fab yeah. Max. Yeah. Fab Max, man. Leave that's it to it. Moto. Fab Max. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Get some weather going. Yeah. That is great. All right, so Moto, what you got going on? What madness. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hi. Right. Oh, wait. So, oh, what? I have not been uh, diligent in documenting the progress of my entire spaceship after it collapsed. So what I wanted to do is this week I've just been taking photographs of all the things that I've, I've built along the way. And uh, I'll, I'll kind of go around. So the uh, there's an echo in here. Uh, so everybody's wow, familiar so with it the is many fig scale. Uh, it is many fig scale, yeah. So I populated all the classic space people, uh, engineers constructing the egg. That was the that was the big thing for this year. 
Um, and then I restructured the body. I also didn't pin that guy down. He's toast. And um, <laughs> um, yeah, just adding more core and structure. And that was kind of the stopping point. And then um, this is one half of, uh, so I only have one engine out. I've got four of these. Oh my but goodness. This is, this is one section, that's the other. And I'll just kind of show you kind of how they looked. Um, yeah, I'll just, they're all kind of crunked still. Moto, this is outrage. What? So if you can imagine, there was four of these rockets that were, oops, oh. that were sitting down and they were attached to that point. And then this part was up here. So by the time it was done, it was pretty tall. Can I ask you a question, Michael? Sure, yeah, go for it. You guys um, free, so yeah. you say, um, we saw a minor collapse when you were um, swishing a piece very early on in our series. Um, maybe okay. it was even on um, uh, Brick, uh, what's his name? Julian. Brick Smith. Yeah. On, on oh, Brick Smith show, right? Yeah, Brick Smith, yeah. Um, but you keep saying it was with four. It was. Did you have this thing fully assembled at one point? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. So it's called the Prosperity. Um, today is the first anniversary of when I had it together for the first time at a convention. So if any of you guys know me on Facebook, I just posted a like the retro image of it, but it was very different. So for example, this part of the dome was here. So there was no bottom egg shape. It was just a dome on here. And then those four engines from here on down. And it was, it was, my goal was to get two meters and I hit that. So I hit it, I hit it like seven and a half feet tall. There's just a picture of me next to it. Um, and then, uh, you know, I had it up and I had it out and it was all good. But then the, the garage door was left open and a high gust of wind or raccoon knocked it over. Oh, and at that goodness. point, yeah, at that point through the winter, I had, instead of like putting it back together, I just stopped and went, it's too weak. I need to start over. And so this is like the second version of it where now I have an egg shape and that egg shape I'm coping with weld onto here. And then I can start to work you know, I've really super strengthened this core so I can take it. And then I got to re I got to restructure the fins to hold the uh, to hold the engines a lot better. But by the time it's done, it's kind of be a monster. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's already a monster. <laughs> that is outrageous. And, and I say that every time and I'm still just yeah. amazed. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And so can you give us a uh, just a little tip here and and sure. give us a tip as to why don't 400 black pins just pop out when you do that? Uh, yeah, let me, so I've realized when I joined Zoom, it only does the camera toward my face. So it gets really awkward trying to show things, but I'm going to try it. Okay, okay. Uh, you could tell us too if it's, I don't want no, no, you know, no. to cause it's, problems. I, I can't even begin to describe what's going on in some of these places. Um, Oh, no. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm sorry. It's going to get really jiggly here. Uh, hey, Mona, what happened to your laundry room? <laughs> He's in the garage. He's in the garage. Oh, I'm, in the, really? I'm in the garage, man. Oh, okay. Cool. That's why I had to drop and come back. <laughs> All right. Okay, so if I come and do that. Thank you for doing this, Moto. Oh, no problem. So there's the idea that I, uh, in order to make the structure a lot more solid, um, whenever there's a technic ring, so if you guys, uh, I'm sorry, I can't see anything right now, but hopefully I'm panning uh, around, you see that there's a, a set of rings. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's those gears, those big, uh, those big round gears. Yeah, that's at the very top. But it, it, all of my building was making technic rings. And when you make a ring it's going to be completely locked in uh radially so it zigzags and it does a lot of um truss work it's like you're making it's like circular truss almost yeah, it's a circular truss is a great way to think about it so i i designed a bunch of different diameter circular trusses and that's what kind of makes the levels of my build and so if you have a truss on the bottom, you have to fix up the height axis. And the way I've beefed it up is by locking and squeezing the bottom layer to the top layer. And then you can also see there's diagonal triangulation going on in there. 
Yeah, 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 a lot of, a lot of, the more triangles, the better, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Always. And then if I, since there's a gap here, I'm going to be able to show it off. Oh, no, he fell down. Oh, yeah, there's, there's guys that fell because they were, I just grabbed <laughs> this and they all just went, but that's okay. It's have been overworked. How do you fall down in space? <laughs> uh, I don't know. He's, he's not doing good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He looks kind of yellow. He had too much uh, space ice cream. Too much space ice cream. But if you oh, look no. a little bit, can you see the triangulation that's going through vertically now? Yes. Just, yeah. the, just the end of that? I see oh. that. I just see this minifig that needs help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I, see your, I see your diagonal strut <laughs> there in red, too. Yeah, so I'm hiding and sneaking a bunch of strut work. I made a video that really describes this a lot better, but it's really long-winded because uh, it takes a long time to describe this stuff. But essentially, there's a vertical truss built into this and kind of hidden as fins. So these fins are all triangulated, if you see that. That's amazing. Okay, so the fins are triangulated. But they even that triangulation continues into the core. So all, all the vertical members of the core are triangulated to the outside uh, point here. So you can think about it's not just a ring truss, but there's vertical four vertical trusses coming up from the bottom all the way through to the top so that it locks in that Z axis and then doing these type of trap works where you're trapping the spars of the rings sandwiched between vertical elements got it i think they don't slip out so they don't slip out and that's what yeah. binds all of this structure together so i can lift the whole thing with one arm and pick it up wow well that is amazing and i want to see totally. this long-winded video because i'm sure it's educational and really cool and you made all of that last night <laughs> no, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm sorry, Michael. Yeah, it, I know. See, that's I know, amazing. I yeah, Boone, Boone got the impression I was building like this whole structure on his live chat when you guys invited me the first time we met. Yeah. And it wasn't the case that I had gotten the bottom done and the top was sitting in the other side of the room, but I had to, I had to like plate in two layers and then set the whole thing down and hope it didn't collapse. So it was all pre-built. It's just I was at that point where I could finally try to assemble it. And it was getting a little twitchy, but yeah, this, this is all the torn apart and then reassembling things um, to make them stronger kind of idea. And you know, I went from February to or no, I was looking at it. It didn't go too long to get the egg done. It's just that uh, you guys know this. After a while, you just kind of put it aside. You find something else to work on. You come back to it later. With a multi-year build, at least for me, this is the first time I've ever had something go more than a year. Right. It just, I, you know, I can't just keep hammering on Technic nonstop. I had to put it down. Once I had that done, I was like, great. That's one third of it done. That's cool. The framing of this is maybe halfway there. And then, you know, maybe I'll start to figure, I, I got to get that red base down and then start to put the pieces on top of the bases so I can, like NASA style, start to assemble them together. Uh, so. Oh, so See, I'm, I'm wondering, you talk about long-term projects. For the, for the other panelists, you've all worked on big long-term projects, right? Do you tend to just work on one project at a time or? No. no. I, my <laughs> desk is full of projects. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you for but sharing I'm, that, Michael. That's yeah, no problem. Well, we That's are awesome. actually at, we are at time for today, and we're actually no! going to go. I know we're going to go meet some friends oh. and take a walk in the outside. We it'll be the furthest we've been from our house uh, since this whole thing started. So we're kind of excited to go, just be out. Yeah, we're going to see the ocean more than just to the grocery Thanks. store and home. So yeah, we're going to go look at water and stuff, but. Um, I just wanted to say thank everybody so much for joining us today, and thank you for all of our panelists uh, coming, our 
special guest Mark Crookshank. Thank you so much for coming and being on today. And we have our our regulars, uh, Tim Conway, Lyle Wagoner, and Vicky Lawrence. Holly <laughs> yeah. Blair and Moto, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us today. What a far-reaching, fun conversation yeah. today. Oh, and by the way, Blair, that makes you Lyle Wagoner in that group because Moto's already <laughs> yes. taken Conway. So you're, you're yeah. Lyle Wagoner. Um, Good. So... <laughs> And if you don't know who Lyle Wagner is, Google Look it, it up. because he yeah. was awesome. Why I didn't get Carol Burnett. Oh no, he did. Well, sorry. Oh, okay. All right. We kind of split. <laughs> we split that duty. <laughs> Um, yeah, we did, we hired you because you kind of look like me. I'm a little hard. <laughs> you know that's that, that's why they. You know that's why they hired her, right? They hired Vicky Lawrence because she looked like she resembled oh. Carol. And they wanted to have, yeah, they wanted to do something where they could be relatives, which I thought was very funny. Got it. But uh, you're older than me. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, so Carol was older than Vicky Lawrence. Was she really? That's funny. I think so. I mean, I think <laughs> a little that. bit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Holly, you're the ingenue here. Which, by the way, Sorry, and we're, if, all, we're off on another tangent now. <laughs> if you still haven't, if you still haven't, if you don't, still don't understand all the Carol Burnett stuff. All 11 seasons of The Carol Burnett Show are on Amazon Prime. You can see all of them. You can see the ridiculous things that we're talking about. And there are, while there are the classic amazing, like, skits, there's also kind of a lot of, um, you know, like, wah, wahs, which we've talked about before. But anyway, I still highly encourage it, especially in times where we're looking for a laugh. There was uh, some really great, uh, fun stuff on, uh, on there. But anyway, another tangent, as you said. <laughs> I gotta say, yeah, this this has really lifted my spirits. With, um, yeah, especially in Denver, we had you know we had curfew restrictions take effect last night. They're in effect today. Um, yeah, yeah, it's thing, pretty things, intense. Things were very scary in Oakland last night too. So we're just all holding our loved ones tight right now, and it means Absolutely. so much. It means so much that you're all able to join us, and it makes our days happier and just gives me hope that people can come together and create beautiful things. Yeah, like it brings people together. You know? Yep. And I actually it's all just about that connectivity. It, it's that clutch power. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, I did see a. Um, uh, I did see a, a, a comment from someone earlier asking if we would be still doing um, YouTube shows after the whole COVID thing is over. And just to answer that question, yes, yes. absolutely, 100%, we will be doing uh, yeah. stuff. We may go down in days, and we may have to change our schedule maybe, around a little maybe bit. Maybe evenings or um, a weekend brunch. But we will absolutely still be doing, like, this has been our our joy this whole time and to get Good. to share all of that with with you the audience and all of our friends here to get to come on and and we're so just humbled and honored by the support and and the and the willingness of our friends for me to text them at like 11 o'clock on <laughs> saturday and be like do you want to be on the show tomorrow and they say yes although at or this at point nine o'clock a.m yeah yes. well thank well, you holly well see with holly and blair and moto i figured at this point they just i they're on the reg they're the regular cast of regulars they get the invitation <laughs> if they're able to come on and be on the show oh. awesome if they can't that's okay too and we yeah, also we have, a to... we have a permalink now we can crash this party anytime you do you <laughs> have the permanent link now mark so do you have the permanent link so you are you're and you know y'all can pop on whenever and that's what i that's the like the clubhouse feeling that i love about this sunday show is just like who's gonna stop by now <laughs> who might be here you never know so um anyway oh, I, had, yes. I had one very quick one moto I love yeah. the the multiple faces of Moto today, and if you want to bring both of those versions back, I would love to see them, and I bet yes. other people had a lot of fun if, too. If Mini Moto ever wants to make a return, I, uh, yeah, the Legoizer 2000 incident where you know it legalized me for for a while, and I couldn't figure out what the where the off switch was. Um, yeah, well, I'm just, glad you I had, figured it out. You no, know, I had the idea this morning, and so I started to just put things together and after a while I'm like oh here's you know I've got the cookie I've got this I've got my sticker I've got it you know <laughs> 
Well, the hardest it, part was getting the camera work set up and lit uh, right at the last moment because I was going to do my mobile phone. But like I said, the reversal camera thing really threw me for a loop, but I'm glad it worked out. And then the internet crashing out really stunk, but I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, it was – that was a lot of fun, and it gave me much, <laughs> much, much laughter uh, this morning. Okay. So Good. totally worth it. So everybody, just remember to make sure that if you're doing your mech, your mech slash robot challenge, you have until Thursday at noon uh, to turn uh, your uh, to turn them in, and you'll be emailing them to me, Flynn at trickybricks.com, and then we'll obviously we'll have them up on the slideshow on Friday, and it sounds like we're gonna have some. Some special guest uh, reviewers. Some experts. <laughs> Some experts. Expert of ideas. Expert opinion reviewers, <laughs> which we're really, really excited about. So, everybody, have a really, really great rest of your weekend. As always, hold your loved ones tight. Yes. Yeah. Wash your hands. Yes. And no, you know, I've never, <laughs> nice I'm the one way. guy who's never met you guys in person, any of the panel. If I could, if I could, it would. I, you know, I, I'd be there for you. Me too. Right I on. wish I would. Yep. Be, I have hugs for all of you in reserve. Don't don't yep. worry. Well, there's Lots a, of them. There's a fun, safe, happy place for you to hang out and talk about Lego and build stuff. Exactly. Absolutely. Well, thank you, everybody, so much. We will see you tomorrow <laughs> at 10 a.m. where we're going to be doing a breakdown of. Richard's fairy tale mock that he did where he has the three uh, motor movements run or the three gear movements running off one, one crank. crank, which was pretty cool. If you saw it, you may have saw a little bit of it on Friday, and he'll be explaining it more in detail tomorrow. You bet. So we look forward to seeing you then. Um, until then, please stay safe, stay healthy, wash, wash your hands, hands, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye.